Hi, I'm Claire Stallard and I work as an animal behaviourist for the Blue Cross. And I'm Gemma Taylor and I'm the rehoming coordinator here at the Blue Cross. What we're doing now is we're introducing, we're just doing a little bit of a session with a dog that we have at the kennels here and a horse who's at the, um, the horse centre. And we're just doing some really slow introductions on how to get the dog used to uh, the horse's presence and vice versa. So what you can see here is um, Jenny is working with a little stuffed dog terrier that we have. He's um, really interested in her. She's got some lovely tasty treats um, available. And what she's doing is that she's rewarding some really lovely calm behaviour from him. So he's allowed to look at the horse, that's absolutely fine. Um, it's not a problem at all if he used to look too much or get a little bit too focused that she would refocus him onto her. But the, the key is, is that she's focused on him and not the horse and he's displaying some lovely, lovely calm behaviour. Here we've got Dane. Um, we're using Dane because he's quite calm in character and we don't actually know what he's like with dogs um, because obviously he's coming to the centre. We don't know much about his history. So Laura has been schooling him just to get his concentration, settle him down a little bit. Then we pulled them into this paddock and we've sort of decreasing the space between them, keeping it very calm. What we don't want is the behaviours to actually happen. So we're keeping it very calm. Um, Laura's obviously monitoring the horse, getting him to concentrate. It's very important to have your horse concentrating all the time. So you want to be schooling, asking little things of them, keeping them calm. The really important thing is distance, so we wouldn't we certainly wouldn't take a dog straight up to a horse, that just wouldn't be fair. So we've utilised initially the, the, the great space that we have here and we've gradually got closer as long as the horse is calm and as long as the dog's calm and displaying appropriate behaviour, that's absolutely fine.